Greetings, this is Spec Ops 56 coming to you from the Man Cave Annex, otherwise known as my office. And I wanted to do a little end of the year channel update just to go over a few of the things that I've done in 2014 and to give you a little preview of things that I have planned for 2015 coming up. Today is the 30th of December, 2014. Now, first of all, uh, as of uh, the last time I checked, which I think was yesterday, I currently have 448 subscribers. Yay! Now, while I realize that this is still pretty small in the great YouTube scheme of things, uh, it's a pretty big deal to me, and I want to thank each and every one of my subscribers for subscribing, for um, showing me that there are people out there who actually are interested in some of the things that I have to say or some of the things that, that I do, uh, some of the information that I give out. Uh, is apparently useful to some of you or maybe you just need a good laugh <laughs> from time to time whatever it is whatever causes you to subscribe I hope that you'll continue and I'll do my best to continue to hold your interest uh, one way or the other now over uh, 2014 uh, uh, it's been a it's been a uh, a time of growing uh, into this YouTube thing for me. Uh, if you look at my earlier videos, they are much less, shall we say, polished than the ones that I'm doing now. Not that the ones that I'm doing now are by any means a Hollywood production. But I think that uh, I think that that the content, the delivery, the lighting, the you know the quality, overall quality has improved some. And over the course of 2015, I'm going to do my best to continue to improve the quality of what I do on YouTube, the video quality, the lighting, the content, my delivery. Um, the sound quality, all of it, uh, the editing. I, I'll continue to do my best to, to bring you the best that I'm currently able to bring you. So I hope that, uh, I hope that you will uh, hang in there. Now, during a few things during 2014, I'm going to refer to my notes here. Uh, some of the things that... Uh, that I did. We worked on, my, uh, off and on, we worked on my Swan 250 six meter transceiver uh, restoration. And I'm afraid I left it hanging the last time. I had hoped to be finished with it by now. I thought that I was. Um, we had gotten it to the point where it seemed to be working like it should. And so I had taken it out of the workshop and we had put it all back together. I took it out to my ham shack and hooked it up to the six meter antenna so that I could try doing a, a final on the air test. There is a uh, six meter net here locally, the sand lamp or six meter net on Tuesday nights. And uh, I tried to get in on that. Well, Lo and behold, where I thought we had been finished with it, turns out we're not. Uh, I found out that it had somehow developed a receive problem because I was unable to receive any signal at all. So it's back to the bench and we just haven't, with, well, with the holidays and everything else, we just haven't had a chance to uh, get it on the bench, get it pulled apart, and do the troubleshooting. That's going to be coming up soon in 2015. 
we are going to finish it and uh, do the on-air test and once i've got got all that done and filmed i will be uh posting that video so that those of you who have been wanting to see see it work uh, we'll be able to see that i'll get that done just as soon as i'm able to i hope you'll uh, continue to be patient on that in the same vein uh, i worked on an upgrade build to my uh, one of my ar-15s and uh, i got the build itself finished and I, over the summer, and in the, in the early fall, I was uh, hoping to get out to the range so that I could do, get it sighted in and do the accuracy testing in order to compare it, you know, how it's working now and what it, how accurate it is now and compare it to what it was before I upgraded it. And I know that several of you have been anxious to see that. And I really want to apologize for the long delay. Um, I did get it out to the range one day. And I had another gun that I had brought that I, I was wanted to test. And I thought that it, the test on that would go quickly. But I, and then I could get to the, to the other one. Well, it turned out I had some technical difficulties with the scope that was on it. And it took a lot longer than I anticipated by the time I got done with that one there just wasn't enough time to do my upgrade AR. Since then between uh, between holiday stuff, traveling and uh, other things that I won't go into and weather I, I just have not been able to coordinate a trip to the range to get the to get the rifle tested and get it all filmed and get it posted. Those of you that have been waiting to see it, I apologize for that. And one of the first things I'm going to try to do in 2015, <coughs> excuse me, is as soon as I can coordinate a day of decent weather with my schedule and John's schedule, we'll be going out to the range and we will get that done and I will get it posted for you just as quickly as I can. Uh, in the meantime, just to give you a little teaser, a little preview, uh, just a, a quick little look at how the upgrade turned out as far as um, cosmetically. And cosmetically, I'm very pleased with it. Okay, you'll see it more in detail uh, in the final video, which I promise I'll get to as quickly as I can. Please be patient. Sometimes life gets in the way of our best intentions. Uh, another thing during 2014 I, I did, I did uh, crock pot meals for real men cooking videos. <clears throat> and uh, then I did a sub, uh, a sub genre of that. I started doing uh, crock pot meals for real healthy men. And in fact, it was a dessert. Uh, I haven't done anything uh, recently for the same reasons that I haven't been able to get as much done on the Swan or the AR or anything else. Uh, I will be working on more recipes, more healthy recipes, uh, and, and be doing more of those in the future. I'll be doing, in 2015, I'll try to do more taste tests on the various freeze-dried survival foods, some more taste tests on uh, some of my old MREs, uh, since people seem to enjoy that. I also started doing um, beer reviews. And uh, shout out to the Geist uh, as the one who inspired me to do these. And they seem to be uh, fairly popular, so I'll continue to do them. Uh, the beer reviews, uh, probably I won't be doing as, doing as many uh, as often as I've started out doing for various reasons, but I will try to get in at least, uh, at least one beer review probably every month or so. 
Uh, another thing that um, I did, <coughs> excuse me, another thing I did in 2014 was I, I started a, 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 a video log about getting off my lazy butt and getting into shape. And I started and I made some very, very slow, small progress. Well, unfortunately, uh, in the month of, since the month of November, I fell off the fitness horse. Uh, and in fact, I fell completely off the fitness horse and landed right back on my lazy butt. And so, uh, no excuses, just did. Uh, sometimes it's hard to fight that lazy butt. But uh, I am determined in 2015 that I'm not only going to get back off of my lazy butt, I'm not only going to run down that horse and get back on that fitness horse, but this time I'm going to wrestle that sucker to the ground. So... I am currently working on a whole new fitness plan that will involve, and I'll give details in, a, in another Lazy Butt update specifically, but it will entail a better eating plan, lower carb. Also, it will entail a full body workout with dumbbells. But I will detail that in a later video once I've got the details worked out. One other thing it will involve is I am accepting and have accepted Jennifer in Illinois, that's Girls Like Guns channel, uh, her 30 miles in 30 days walking challenge for the month of Ju January. So I will be starting that the day after New Year's. Uh, hopefully I'll make it. I'll give you an update on that. So that takes care of the lazy butt update. <laughs> the uh, a few things upcoming for 2015. Um, one, I have decided as a new hobby and to add a new dimension to our beer reviews, Myself and my faithful Indian companion, John, are going to start making an attempt to homebrew our own beer. So stay tuned for that. Once we get, I've got most of the ingredients, most of the equipment already put together. And as soon as we can, we're going to start fermenting our first batch and we will film that process and uh, we will do a beer review of our first brew after that, once it's done. So you can be looking forward to that. Uh, and lastly, I'm going to be doing very shortly a subscriber appreciation contest. Well, not contest so much, a giveaway. Not a contest in, in the sense that, uh, you know, you have to do something better than somebody else to win it. No, that's not what I'm doing. It's a giveaway. The drawing will be random. Uh, I have not decided yet exactly what I want. Uh, probably going to want uh, some video responses. And I'm probably going to limit it to my current subscribers at the time of the contest beginning because this is a subscriber appreciation contest i want to show my appreciation to the people who have subscribed to me um, and not the people that subscribe just to get in on the contest this contest will be i think pretty good i'm giving going to be giving away uh, some good stuff and a fair amount of it Details would be coming later. Sometime in January, I will post the official contest video and show you what it is you can win. Uh, so that pretty much takes care of this update 
For those of you that have been with me uh, from the beginning, I really, really appreciate it. Now, I, you've noticed I, I haven't monetized my videos. I may have to in the future just to, to help me pay for some of the stuff. But, but I'm holding off on that as long as possible because I don't want to annoy you with uh, I don't want to annoy you with the ads and I don't want you to think that I'm doing this just to try to make money because I'm not. I'm doing this I'm doing this as a hobby to have fun and hopefully um, hopefully give you some knowledge you may not have had and some entertainment you might not have had. And to make some friends, which I have uh, along the way. So, until 2015, this is Spec Ops 56 saying thank you for your support and over and out.